I decided about three or four months, maybe longer, to uh, stop drinking pop. And I uh, switched over to drinking water. And I try to drink 64 ounces a day. And I use this bottle to judge how much water I drink uh, during the day. It, it's kind of nice because it gives uh, time markings like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., and so forth. And uh, it tells you when to refill. Uh, like, uh, I think at 1 p.m., uh, you start. You have to refill for the 2 p.m. And it's kind of nice because you, you're not guzzling the water all at once. I mean, obviously, you, you can't exactly know, uh, do it, uh, you know, you might be busy, but you can kind of judge uh, how um, uh, how far along you should be. Like right now, I'm at uh, 11 a.m. and it's 12 a.m., so which means I have to drink some more water. Uh, and so what I decided to do is, well, let me uh, step back a little bit. I've been buying bottled water, uh, Aspipure. I don't work for Aspipure. Uh, that's just a... Uh, uh, a, a local wa bottle of water that I buy at uh, uh, my local grocery store. Uh, like I said, Aspen here, and it comes in a case of 24, and it's like $4 uh, uh, a case. And um, we call it the. So that ends up, well, let's say, $4. Uh, you use a case of water every week, uh, roughly, give or take. And then uh, we call it the, so that can get uh, kind of expensive, like four times 52, that's eight, $208 minus 10 or minus 20 or, uh, well, add $20 to that total. And that can get kind of expensive. Not only that, I really don't think these wa uh, water bottles are, um, we call it, uh, uh, recyclable. I mean, kind of thin. They they might be recyclable. I I, I put them uh, in the recycle bin, uh, but uh, I, I I have my doubts if they're recyclable or not. Maybe somebody can uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that. And then, like I said, I uh, so I decided what I decided to do is I decided to buy uh, the Brita. Uh, a water filtration system for the kitchen sink. Here it is. Uh, I don't work for Brita, and they do have other uh, uh, brands and uh, models. Uh, even Brita has different models, you know, for the kitchen sink, and they have like a, a standalone, uh, uh, like a like a jug uh, that you can fill up. Uh, it filters your water, and here it's hooked up to the sink. Uh, as you can see, I, I got it all hooked up. It, it was fairly easy hooking it up. I would give it a four out of five stars because uh, I really don't think the instruction uh, 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 is all that clear. Especially, you know, I mean, they, they got like a picture diagram. But then, because my sink is the owner's model or... Uh, I should say faucet is an older model. I had to uh, use um, an adapter uh, for it because there was no threads on the, uh, uh, we call it, what do they call that? Uh, you, you have to remove it. Let me, call, let me go back to the page. Uh, remove the air, air, air rater from the faucet, which wasn't too bad. Uh, but I had to use the adapter because, to hook it up because the, uh, the uh, it didn't have no threads on the outside, so I had to use the adapter. It wasn't too bad. And now uh, they get to the uh, uh, the operation of this is you can use it as a normal sink uh, when it's in this, in this model, in this not not model, but in this uh, set in here, uh, and. Uh, yeah, which means you can use it just like a regular sink. You can use hot water, cold water, mild water, and uh, but 
And to use the uh, filter, now let me uh, show you how the, the regular water goes out this way. And then you can, you can use it as a normal sink. And then when you uh, uh, switch it, uh, when you want to use the filter, you put over here. Let me show you better. Okay, set it in there. And then, wait, well, what, what I would do though is, especially if you were using hot water, I would run a little bit of cold water uh, through the, uh, uh, through the uh, faucet, stop it, then switch it over. And then you never want to use hot water, so you, you use cold water. And it goes out there uh, through the filter. When you first you, uh, when you first uh, 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 change the filter, or, uh, put the filter in, you, you have to uh, uh, let the rubber run for five minutes. To, uh, how they say it? Uh, uh, flush the new uh, filter cartridge with water, uh, and they say that you might see some um, carbon dust, whatever that means. And then, uh, like I said, uh, this is a Brita uh, filtration uh, uh, system for the kitchen sink, or a sink. And uh, got a nice little instructions here. Uh, they do have like a, a, a goofy light. I've got... I guess you can change the... Hmm. I, I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, dead air. Uh, we call it. Uh, they have like, oh, that's why I wanted to get at. They have a filter replacement indicator. I call it a goofy light. Uh, uh, a flashing green, uh, flashing amber, and flashing red. I had it for uh, the uh, a, a jug that I was using. Uh, here, I'll, uh, I'll put it on a little bit. And. Uh, I don't know if it'll flat. Yep, yeah, it's see it's flashing green. You know, it should be flashing green. It, but it, supposedly, uh, when it uh, gets bad, it turns yellow, amber, as they call it, yellow, or red. I, I I have a like a jug that d does the same thing, but I never seen it. Uh, it was always uh, uh, showing green. Uh, the best way to do it. Oops, the best way to do it is to uh, just the. Uh, uh, taste the water and, and if the water looks funny mainly the taste but when you're done uh, filling your jug up or your water bottle up just put it back to uh, to the sink mode so you don't accidentally put in a hot water and stuff like that so that's basically it